Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to replace the membrane in a Water Saver 75 High Efficiency Reverse Osmosis Drinking Water System. If you're looking for discount prices on the membrane, you can click up here to get some more information. So one of the first questions you need to answer, I guess, is how often do you have to replace the membrane? Well, in most cases, if your mineral content is about 500 parts per million or less, you would need to replace it about every two years. If your mineral content is higher, 1,000 parts per million or something like that, you'll need to replace it more often. Now, if you want to know for sure if it's time to replace your membrane or not, you can use a TDS meter like this one here. And I've got a link down below in the comments or in the description section that'll take you right to these. So with a TDS meter, you would measure the water from your uh, regular faucet, and let's say it comes in at 500 parts per million. The reverse osmosis water should be reduced by 90%. So the water that comes out of your reverse osmosis faucet should only be about 50 parts per million. If, if the water coming out of the reverse osmosis faucet is 60, 70, 80, 100, 200, or higher, that tells you that definitely the membrane needs to be replaced. Okay, so the first step is, um, you would go through the same procedure as when you replace all the other filters. In fact, you'd replace it at the same time as you replace the other filters. If you're not uh, sure how to do that, you can check my other video here on how to do that filter replacement. Now, when you're following the procedure in that video, you'll see about uh, more than three quarters of the way through when it talks about turning the water back on, that's when you would look after the membrane. So you would have replaced this filter up here. So what you would do is you would undo that filter and these clips. And then over here, you would undo the tubing. So these are actually quite simple to undo. They use uh, John Guest quick connect fittings. So basically how they work is you slide the collar in, slide the tubing in, and then hold the collar inside while you pull the tubing out. And then you would do that on all the, on the ends. And then you would replace it with the new membrane and again it's color coded and you'd reconnect it exactly the same way. Now if you're not used to using uh, quick connect fittings, John Guess quick connect fittings, or you'd like some more information about it, again I've got a great video up here that talks about uh, those quick connect fittings. All right, so once you've connected that up and uh, it also has a flow restrictor here and a new one comes in the package, so would you replace that at the same time? And flow restrictors up here. And, uh, and again, it uses those same um, John Guest type quick connect fittings. All right, so then we'll put the, the clips back on here and this one on here. All right. Okay, so once you've got it back together, again, you'd resume that other video that talks about the filters, but basically what you need to do is now you need to flush all the filters and, and of course at the same time you're going to be flushing the membrane. Now when you replace the membrane, they do have a preservative inside, so you need to flush it three tankfuls of the water um, to, to fully get rid of that preservative from there. So basically, you'd the tank would be full, you'd flush the flush the membrane and the filters the first time, then you'd wait till the tank fills back up again, a couple hours, and then you'd flush it a second time, and then you'd let it fill again a third time, and then you flush it a third time. And if you'd like to see a really cool video, click up here that talks about how the Water Saver 75 uses so little water to purify the water for your family. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all the new videos that become available on this channel. If you'd like some more information, go to our websites, either thewatereaststore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario.